ጣይ እንግዲህ ወደ ጉጉት ወደ ምን ተጠብቃቸው የሽልማ ስነ ስርዓቶቻችን ነው የምናልፈው Nearly 5 decades ago the trajectory of Rebecca Getachew Hailey's life was irrevocably changed in a single night at just 11 years old she fled her homeland of Ethiopia with her family leaving behind her grandparents friends and everything familiar with nothing more than the clothes on her back Rebecca crossed the sea becoming a refugee as the Derg regime rose to power Born in Addis Ababa in 1965, Rebecca was the eldest child of Professor Getacho Haley and Miss Rock Amari Haley. Raised in a stable and intellectually rich household, her early years were deeply influenced by a strong foundation of educational and cultural values. However, this stability was shattered in 1975 when her family was forced to escape the political turmoil in Ethiopia. eventually finding refuge in the distant and unfamiliar land of Minnesota, USA. The abrupt transition from a comfortable life in Ethiopia to one of poverty and isolation in the United States was jarring. Minnesota's harsh winters coupled with the absence of family and friends posed significant challenges. Yet Rebecca's resilience and the unwavering support of her family kept her focused on her education. Her determination paid off as she excelled academically, graduating among the top 10 in her high school class of 500 students, which earned her a full scholarship to Williams College. Rebecca graduated from Williams College in 1986 with a bachelor's degree and went on to pursue a Juris Doctor at Harvard Law School. During her time at Harvard, she served as an editor of the prestigious Harvard Law Review. After graduating cum laude in 1991, she began her legal career by clerking for Judge Dorothy Nelson of the United States Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in California. Rebecca then practiced law at prominent firms such as Williams and Connolly in Washington DC and Davis Polk and Waddell in New York City, specializing in mergers and acquisitions. Her professional journey reached new heights when alongside her husband Jean Manas, she helped found Foros an independent strategic and mergers and acquisitions financial advisory firm. As executive vice president of finance and operations, Rebecca played a pivotal role in the firm's success, providing strategic advice on operations and human resources. Despite her significant achievements in the US, Rebecca felt a deep connection to her homeland. After 25 years, she returned to Ethiopia with a clear vision to invest in the future of Ethiopian education. While many encouraged her to invest in other sectors, she chose education, recognizing its transformative power. In 2016, she and Jean co-founded Ethiopia Education Initiatives (EEI), a not-for-profit organization dedicated to providing world-class educational opportunities to talented Ethiopian students. EEI's flagship project is the Haile Manas Academy (HMA). a pioneering co-ed secondary boarding school located in Debre Birhan. Built over five years with support from donors, HMA opened its doors in January 2021 on an eight-acre campus. At full enrollment, HMA will accommodate 100 students across each of the four grades for a total of 400 students. HMA offers a holistic education experience designed to foster independent thinking, problem solving, and leadership among its students, many of whom receive scholarships to ensure access regardless of financial means. As executive director of EEI, Rebecca has overseen every aspect of the academy's creation, from the design and construction of its beautiful campus to the hiring of a diverse team of educators. The school's first class graduated in May 2024, with many students gaining admission to prestigious universities worldwide. In addition to her work with EEI, Rebecca is a staunch advocate for women's political representation. She serves as chair of the board of directors for Emily's List, a national organization dedicated to electing pro-choice democratic women to political office in the United States. Rebecca is also the author of Held at a Distance, My Rediscovery of Ethiopia, a memoir reflecting on her return to Ethiopia after her family's exile. 
Rebecca's life is a testament to the power of education and resilience. She continues to inspire others through her dedication to empowering future generations of Ethiopian leaders. Living in New York City with her husband and three children, she remains deeply connected to her Ethiopian roots, participating in various Ethiopian community activities and volunteering whenever possible. Her message to the younger generation is simple, yet profound. Understand, love, and accept yourself. Make choices that are meaningful and fulfilling in both your personal and professional life. Stay true to your uniqueness and support each other, especially as women. Learning and growth happen over a lifetime. Be open to new ideas and experiences and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Rebecca has two sisters and one brother. Rebecca and her family have ambitious plans to continue working in their homeland. Although they were forced to leave Ethiopia when Rebecca was 11, their connection to the country has never wavered. When they live in the United States, their hearts remain in Ethiopia. Day and night, Rebecca thinks, plans, and works tirelessly to build a new generation equipped with academic excellence. In acknowledgement of your outstanding service to the community, particularly your impact in shaping the future through education in Ethiopia, and your role as an inspiring figure for young Ethiopians worldwide, presented on this 13th day of October 2024, at the 2024 African Impact Award. Rubka Gitacho, Haile, Kalib Kalib Nama Segnalan, Banagarachila, Ye Professor Gitacho, Haile, Legend to Nurmach. Tam Nama Segnalan. And here's our appreciation that we will have from the city of New Carrollton. Be it hereby known to all that sincerest congratulations are offered to Rebecca Halle in acknowledgement of your outstanding service to the community, particularly your impact in shaping the future through education in Ethiopia and your role as an inspiring figure for young Ethiopians worldwide. And we're presenting this today on the 13th day of October, 2024 at the 2024 African Impact Awards. Congratulations. <laughs> በቀድሚያ እንኳን እንደሳ አለሽ በበርካታ ቦታዎች ላይ የስኬት ሽልማቶችን አግኝተሻል በተማሪዎችሽ በተለይ ክብርን አግኝተሻል በኢትዮጵያኖች ዘንድ አንድ ላይ ተገኝቶ መገኘት ደስ ምን ይመስላል አዎ በጣም ደስ ይላል በጣም ደስ ይላል እግዚአብሔር በጣም ስለ ደብረ ብርሃን ትምርት ቤት ትንሽ አውሬ ምስት እንግዲህ ያሰብ ነው um you know ye timirtin tinish melawot fallegan neber i think kullachinim or benun buzal buzwachin demna qiza agarachin ahun timirtwet memorizing masham dal lafatan aslo hone na mi asfelegawon 21st century skills indezi adellem ene masbaw demo zi kemetahut bezetayn 11 amet esimata indet bi ye neber you know hiwote ene degena wodefit yas yes yes kidkut now the education that are saying over Williams but Harvard that are saying and I hand in nagar which up yamas but that for the gain of better uh when Deborah Brahan and that co uh I don't know I don't know to the George you honor loose in the mula uh I'm a stomach but if it needs to fit now but the amount I'm still young uh great to cut to couple and I and now you know but I like is in the bottom by pandemic but or enough the bridge I'm no good uh I think load a little easy to judge clearly on the tunnel the moon for the go the more you know and يتمارنو ደሞ ወደ ሌላ ቦታ ነው ሰነ ምን ፈልጋው ሰው ሱነ ሐሳቡ እና ለኔም የሚሰማኝ ሁሌ ትልቅ ፕሪቪሌጅ ነው ይሄን ነገር ወደ ኢትዮጵያ ማምጣቴ እንደ ፕሪቪሌጅ ነው የሚሰማኝ ሁሌ ላስት ሜሴጅ በቃ እዚ ላስት ሜሴጅ በጣም ማመስገን ነው ይሄንን የመሰለ ግብዣ በጣም ክብር ይሰማኛል my fellow honorees በተለይ ሁሉ በጣም አድማር ማረጋቸው ለእናንተ ሁሉ ደሞ congratulations ማለት ፈልጋለሁ እና ትልቅ honor ነው አመሰግናለሁ በጣም we have a few more citations from the U.S. State Representative is with us. So from the D.C. Mayor Office, we also have a citation or a proclamation for you. And Dr. Oye, if you don't mind coming to the stage, that would be great. Thank you.
We also have a citation of proclamation from the State of Maryland Governor Office. And Mr. Shanti, if you don't mind coming here on behalf of the Governor of State of Maryland and presents the proclamation to Rebecca Hiley, that would be great. Thank you. We also have a proclamation from city of Alexandria and from dear mayor elect who have been with us earlier and you have that citation as well and we'll present that to you. So that, uh, I just wanna give you the mic, say a few words and we conclude this session. So I am being honored for accomplishments in business and philanthropy. And as I think about the relationship between my personal experiences and Haile Manas Academy, which is the reason that I am here, I can say that the how of my achievements aligns exactly with the why of Haile Manas Academy. Like many in this room, I left as a refugee from Ethiopia. Uh, and the question is, as I said before, how did I get my life back together? For me, it was through an understanding of self and appreciation of the power of relationships and community. I think this room makes that very clear. Through a confidence that comes from taking risks, failing, and getting back up again after failure, and through a problem-solving entrepreneurial mindset. I learned these skills from education that I received both inside and outside the classroom, both at Williams College and at Harvard Law School, from watching family role models, including some at the table over there, not even looking up, uh, and lessons taught by wonderful mentors. I called on these skills to help my husband establish our financial services boutique 15 years ago. And those are the same skills that I used to establish Haile Manas Academy, plus a lot of patience and extra determination because it's Ethiopia. We know what that means. But why did we establish Haile Manas Academy? As I said earlier, unfortunately, currently, uh, the classrooms in Ethiopia see too many students just taking tests, memorizing information, and really not making the connection between what they're learning and their own lives. So we established Haile Manas Academy to offer a different approach. As I said earlier, it's a co-ed birding school located in Dabur Brahan. We opened our doors in January of 2020, graduated our first class of seniors this past May. Our mission is to help students of promise develop into confident, community-minded leaders who understand how to solve problems, and strive to make a difference in people's lives. We recruit students from all over Ethiopia, the only school in the country where you can go to school with kids from Diridawa, Arba Minch, Addis Ababa, Makale, Bahadar, and Gondar. And we support admitted students who need financial aid to the extent that our resources apply, allow. And currently, over 90% of our students receive significant, if not full, financial aid. Let me offer a couple of quick stories uh, that make clear our impact. First, you won't be surprised that everybody that comes to campus on day one wants to be a doctor or an engineer. I think that is common in our community. And uh, I was very happy after about a year or so when I heard one of our seniors, who's now studying here, say that she wanted to enter into agriculture. To me, that means that she had picked up her head, looked around, and saw that we have a country which is still 85% uh, agricultural economy, and realized that she could really take her math and science skills and make a difference there. Another favorite story comes from the day that uh, now our former president, Salah Work, visited. Uh, and this story uh, just makes me laugh every time I think about it. Is it she came to have the tour, uh, and we always have children give this tour. So we had two students, I think they were sophomores, give a tour and they showed her everything and they entered into the girls' dormitory. They had made everything nice and neat and clean. And she said, um, can I look inside one of these closed closets? And they looked at each other and they looked at the school admin and the school admin said, it's your tour. And they said, 
Yikerta, Kuber, Madam President, I chat him, I cuff at him. And her protocol almost had a heart attack. Like, who are these two 14 year olds saying no to the president of the country? But they hadn't prepared it. They said, we got everything else ready, but we didn't, you know. So she later told me the story and she was so happy about that. And I think what that shows is the confidence that young students can have. Like, there's really, yeah. Yeah, and they, and they did it in a respectful fashion, but they knew, oh, they said, no, you cannot. And she was happy. And then finally, let me tell you that just three weeks ago, one of our students was named a RISE Fellow. Yo, oh, someone knows who that is. That's great. Yeah. So the RISE program, founded by former Google CEO Eric Schmidt, every year selects 100 young men and women from thousands of applicants who demonstrate leadership potential and supports them through college and beyond. Our student was Ethiopia's first, first ever winner. And the best part about it is that his application was based on having established a program to tutor refugee children in camps in Dover Burhan in math and English. For a 17-year-old, that is leadership. As mentioned, yeah, we're very proud of him. So as mentioned a moment ago, we graduated our first class in May, and that milestone has given us additional external validation. I'm thrilled to report that 19 of our 33 graduating seniors, nearly 60%, secured scholarships to study at excellent international institutions in the US, Asia, the Middle East, and elsewhere in Africa. And at the same time, they passed the 12th grade national exam, with many of them scoring in the high distinction levels at or above 500, as compared to, as I think we all know, a 5.4% pass rate in the country in general. It isn't easy to both excel on the national exam and engage with learning in the way that we ask, so I'm extremely proud of these results. So I share all of this as a way of inviting you to learn more about Haile Manas Academy. Take one of our flyers, get involved, tell your friends and family in Ethiopia about this great new school, we're still a startup, and please consider supporting us so that we can continue to offer scholarships to deserving students from every corner of the country. We cannot do it alone, and Ethiopia needs every one of these students to promise to achieve their fullest potential and make a difference for the country. It has been the privilege of a lifetime to create this extraordinary platform in support of Ethiopia's future leaders, and I'm very excited about the future, both for HMA and for the students we serve. And Dagana, thank you very much for everybody in this room, for your friendship and support, but Amama Sakinado, and for this honor.